Hey guys, this is going to be a video showing you how to remotely install Debian Linux on both a Windows machine and a pre-existing Linux machine. Okay, so uh, first I guess I'll start with Windows. Uh, this is going to overwrite Windows. It'll completely reformat the drive and put Debian on here. It will put SSH on there as well so you can remotely access it because if you just reinstall it, it won't really uh, be accessible. So step one on the Windows side is right click on computer, hit manage. Because Windows 7, the C drive is actually not the boot drive. Uh, so we go over here to uh, disk management. This is your C drive, but it actually boots off a special reserved partition. So right click that, hit change drive letter and paths and add let's say X so that gives us access to the boot partition of this drive step one is download this program called boot ice I'll have a link to that uh, run as administrator now here you're going to select the boot drive, hit process MBR, change it to grub for DOS, hit install, and then save, close, exit. Now over here in the X drive, what we're going to do is delete the GRLDR because we're going to replace it with that file. And copy these four files. I'll have a zip copy of these posted somewhere. Copy those onto the boot partition. Once you've done that, uh, you can restart the computer. I'm actually on the console of this computer, but you could do this just as easily over remote desktop or anything. And it'll boot straight into the Debian installer and it should just install Debian with some default settings I set up. How it actually does that is I've specified a few settings in the menu.lst and then I have it actually go grab the rest of them off of a paste bin file so that's the URL to the rest of the configurations. You can uh, go grab it, modify it, put up a, a new one. But you're definitely going to want to edit the IP addresses to fit your uh, network. So I'm going to set this just to a new IP address. And the process is very similar on Linux, except you already have Grub installed on Linux, yeah, most probably so. You can delete GRLDR. We don't need that and menu.lst so I have uh, Nautilus, the file browser, open as root so what you're going to do is copy Linux and initrd to the root of the boot drive go into the boot folder go into the grub folder and find grub.cfg and you're going to edit that as root and edit menu.lst and replace everything in that file with the text from menu.lst and you're only going to change one thing at the top where it says kernel you change that to say Linux and I restart it and it should boot straight into the installer just like the other machine All right, so it's going to go through the installer and same thing as the other one so we'll kill that one and I'll continue after this one is done installing 
Alright, so uh, it's rebooting into the new operating system. So let's see if it works. Alright, so uh, I have this terminal. I'm going to SSH remotely to this computer. This is the IP address I configured in the menu.lst file. The only account on here is root, and the password is root backwards, it's T-O-O-R, and we're, we're in. So uh, yep, is what it is. Uh, I can't too many situations where this would be useful. Certainly if you did this to a VPS, like a rented server or something, you'd really want to check the terms of service to make sure that you're allowed to. Chances are you might not be, but uh, you know, it, it's pretty useful. So, there you go. Uh, thanks for watching.